They said it wouldn't happen, and by they, I mean I said it wouldn't happen, but here they are. Please welcome Jeff Ramsey and Griffin Ramsey. <laughs> and they're essentially the, the before and half after picture of Captain America. Please welcome Chris Damaris and Blaine Gibson. I'm your host, John Rice, and welcome on Spot. Welcome to On The Spot. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> oh, he only, in, only physically. He came. <laughs> it's all I needed. I just need Jeff's ass in the chair. It's all I needed, and I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? I was asked to very subtly, <laughs> uh, without drawing attention to it, wear the new Jeff shirts that come out in May as a cool way to announce them without announcing them and not talk about them. And you've accomplished that. If, I, if they said if I wanted to. Those are nice. Oh, that's so nice of you. Don't, don't um. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this episode of On The Spot is brought to you by Movement Watches and Jeff's Shirts. So that's a, that's a nice little... Uh, Haven't been announced yet, though. Haven't been announced yet. <laughs> Still a secret. Do not tell anybody about these. I'm actually wearing one of your sh other shirts today. That that one's already been announced. That one's already been announced. This is this is another one of your line. Jeff, did you ever think you'd have a clothing line? Is this a part of the show? Yes. <laughs> Me interacting with my guests is part of the show. No. <laughs> it's riveting. It's just You're riveting. Not. Um, so. We're gonna play some games, and we're gonna have an on-the-spot episode. And Blaine and Chris are here as well. You know, when applauded. <laughs> I love it. Um, and Griffin's here. Applaud now. <laughs> Thank you for doing what you're told. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes and have some fun, right, Jeff? Yeah. Good. Um, we got team names. We got a few things of business to get through. We got team names first. So Jeff and Griffin, you were asked to come up with a team name. What did you come up with? Well, I suggested Gramsci, since we both have a G. I like that. It sounds like an award. But, I but that's my uh, term of endearment towards you. It has nothing to do with me. You have never called her Gramsci ever in your life. Every day of my life, I call her Fuck Gramsci. Fuck that. <laughs> You're lying. Griffin, what do I call you? He has, he has called me that. Really? But Gramsci is what I call her. Where do you think she came up with the idea from? Not her. <laughs> what, other, what other ideas? What other pet names do you have? I'm curious. Do you say baby? No. Oh, no. God, no. We hate... Pet yeah, names. I don't. We hate pet. I names. don't like baby. Ramsey. Uh, if we hear people, if we hear couples using pet names, we make fun of them under our breath. <laughs> you guys make fun of people. It's. I find it gross. I, it's like the worst kind of public display of affection is the like. Her fucking brother and his wife are awesome. <laughs> 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 they they say my love. My love. They watch the show. They, Why they you say stuff? and they say because they're German, so they say like, uh, mein Liebe. Yeah, they say. And Heil Liebe. No. <laughs> Heil baby? What? Yeah. Um, oh, so what was your team name? So Gramsci was was was. Vetoed. I suggested Gramsci, but um, I'm never. They didn't listen to me at all. They didn't. Why yeah. they did they listen to you, Jeff? I don't remember what. We said. What did you guys come up with? What was the team? Know. Team. We did it once, and look what happened. Yeah, that's uh, okay, all right. There you go. Look that, what happened, Jeff. You that did sounds it like once, a And we've successfully done uh, 88 episodes since then. Like, it was only because you. <laughs> I, it, you know, I love how you made it about you. I was talking about our relationship. <laughs> I was, what I was, were you talking about your relationship? I was talking about our fucking 11-year-old monster only had of a human. You had sex once? <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. Anyway, but it's in interesting and revealing that you thought it was about you and your show. Oh, I'm egotistical <laughs> and constantly trying to compensate for all kinds of inadequacies. Okay. We can turn this into relationship goals if you want. Just give up <laughs> me and my relationship Don't cut to me right now. Uh, don't cut to Jeff. Don't cut to Jeff. Don't cut to Jeff. Cut to Jeff. Um, okay, so we got team name. Team, we did it once, and look what happened. What do we got over here? Um, sweet, well, sweet little boys. Chris and I were thinking, uh, we don't know the Ramseys super well, but we assume that they don't like beating their child, so... <laughs> we came up with Team Millie because they probably don't want to, you know. Oh, you don't want them to beat uh, Team nice. Millie. Right. Joke's on you. Our kid's in a bit of an asshole phase, and we're not super thrilled with her. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> She's well. been so mild-mannered and, like, well-behaved for so long. Are we getting to hormones? 
this a, yes. are we having this conversation right we can now? have any uh, conversation our probably. kid is super well behaved in front of people that aren't us oh <laughs> uh, okay she's a fucking jerk to us <laughs> well you kind of deserve it a lot she punched me in the stomach once she did she did, did. you probably did you ever well. are you are you one of those guys that walks around asking people to punch you in the stomach no, he no, did no, no. he no. did no 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 you she came up and she said my that? dad told me to punch you in the stomach oh okay <laughs> so i said okay but have you ever that's what you get with the rams you meet my daughter and she says my dad told you to punch 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 you in the stomach and then you meet my wife and she says take off your shirt, I want to see it. That's what she, that's how you met What's them. it? You remember that? Did I say that to you? Yeah. I'm so What's, sorry. It was, it was like one of the first parties, yeah. Probably. Yeah, it was at a bar. And what, she goes, is that that muscle guy everybody's talking shirt. about? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, hey, I'm Jeff's wife. Take off your shirt, I want to see it. And he's like, what? I and guess the like, dick is yeah. not underneath the shirt. <laughs> she wants to take your shirt off? Uh, yeah, you got it. It's like, it's four Wait, Griffin, yeah. I had, did later. you take his shirt off? I had a button up, so I think like throughout the night. You ripped that. I think that was the part you ripped my shirt off. Uh, so she probably I, saw it. No. I don't remember it. So okay. either I didn't see it or it didn't leave an impression. A couple times happened. I've gotten drunk and I, I think that you didn't show me. I remember you being a little bit offended when you met me for the first time. Were you offended? Uh, I think intimidated was the word. Oh, yeah. My mom it's just like high said, school. My mom always said. <laughs> boys are intimidated by you, Griffin. By like somebody demanding that you remove your clothing? Yeah. Are boys intimidated me. by you, Jeff? <laughs> I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to learn all about Jeff during this episode. Um, so we got our team names. We have the Golden Gus, who is here and near indestructible at this point. Um, and we're going to play some games. So let's go ahead and play ABCs of Storytelling. I said it was indestructible, and now Jeff is holding it's it. It's a challenge. <laughs> I said near. I said near. I'm not going to break it. I'm Marcus did it. a very good job of, of replacing it and fixing is it. Is this a new one? Or? Yeah. This is, uh, the base is new. The base is new, but the old Gus Moles. Um, the base is now made out of like non-granite-like materials that could shatter and hit Lawrence in the leg. Hey, is it because Couch Drop uh, dropped the base? <laughs> <laughs> That's minus five points for Team Millie. Unfortunately, they're going to start off the game with negative Are you going to do that shit to my daughter? That's not it. That's, that's, that's I'm representing her. <laughs> shit. I said she was, I said she was this an This is asshole. backfired this is, immediately. I said, I said she was an asshole, not untalented. Oh. <laughs> you better earn those points back. Oh, no. Um, okay, Stop. so we're going to play ABC Storytelling. The way the game goes, that each team is going to get a scenario, and they're going to act that scenario with the characters they give them, and they're going to have some fun um, doing some role playing. And uh, the way they're going to do that is they're going to use the alphabet to go back and forth, starting off each line of their dialogue. Um, and I would love Jeff and Griffin to start us off on this game. All right. Okay. Good. Got their approval. Go I'm first? okay with that. What's their scenario? Griffin and Jeff are escaping from prison together, but Jeff sings when he's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and this is submitted by RT user Peli. I'm going to go Roja. Peli Roja. Peli Roja. So, does that, does that make sense to everybody? Uh, yeah, you just have to, yeah, sure. Okay, cool, starting with what letter? So you guys are uh, prison escapees, and Jeff is going to start us off on this game with the letter A. 60 seconds on the clock, is your hair ready? Uh, <laughs> Go. A. Be quiet. <laughs> 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 right there. You got it. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Don't make a sound. Oh, I thought it was only one word. Can you? No, you can say the whole sentence. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, this, this makes sense. Everyone's staring at you. Uh, forget about it. Let's just keep moving. Good idea, Griffin. <laughs> hey, hey, here's the tunnel. I think that's the tunnel. <laughs> As well. Juice. Just. <laughs> Just be quiet and follow me. K. Uh, look out. An L. There's the guard. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Quick, quick, quick. And. The. <laughs> All right. Thank well. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. We're going to make a great team. Um. Jeff, you did a fantastic job. Okay. <laughs> um, and I appreciate that you actually weren't trying to sabotage the game. You were actually thinking that the game's restriction was one word at a time. Yeah. That's a game we're going to play later where it's one word at a time. Okay. Um, okay. And I forgot to say, 
and we didn't get to that point, but I've got to say that you can, if you guys get to the point where you get to X and Z, you can skip those letters if you wanted to, but yeah, you get bonus don't. points if you use them. We won't make it there, so. Well, it depends on what the random letter is, because you guys might start at like W, oh, okay. and you will get there. Okay. Um, but they that, were, Yeah, okay. So we, okay, so it just happened to be it's A. Sweetie, then. Yeah, it just happened to be A. We actually have a randomizer. It's not, not A every single time. We have a randomizer. Huh. Um, so let's, he, let's see what uh, these guys are going to do. Blaine, who's why Alfred. Are we, why are we in, like... Because you, you actually have character names. Blaine, who plays okay. Alfred, finally sits Chris, who plays Batman, down to talk about the Cape Crusader's daddy issues. Batman ends up having a breakdown. And this is from RT user Connor Brazé. Are you going to do a British accent? <laughs> oh, shit. Has yeah. Alfred always yeah. been British? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Australian. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do an Australian <laughs> Alfred. Just do an Australian <laughs> accent. Do it, do it, do it. I, I would love to see an Australian Alfred. Wait, wait, you hold can, it for You the do show. an Australian, right? So you can do an Australian <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. There you go. uh, what's Australian. their starting letter? S. So you guys are down there at the bottom. So That's right. right. Um, Blaine is Alfred. Okay, so yeah, I want Blaine to start us off. Six, six in the clock. Uh, get through as many letters as you can for points. Ready, set, go. Sir, we need to talk about your daddy issues. <laughs> Dad, or don't, just tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ABC, it's your STU. It's uh, right there. We uh, have oh, oh, uh, uh, no, sir, this cannot wait any longer. Volvo. I love my mom came out of a Volvo. What? <laughs> we are going to talk through your issues, Master Wayne. I'm skipping XYZ. Uh, <laughs> you can go, why? Why? Uh, Alfred. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you, Alfred, please. Don't remind me of my parents. Batman, or should I say, Bruce Wayne. We need to talk. Can we schedule it for another day? <laughs> Don't push this Don't. off any further. You've been punching clowns in the streets. Elephant sir. Man is attacking the city. <laughs> for real, Elephant Man? There you have so many strange it's God damn damn Elephant Man. Here, give me a hug, sir. You need to bond. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I went nowhere fast. I just realized that these retards don't know the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> that and that Blaine conveniently has like an Alfred stash right now. Yeah, it works out. Again. Yeah, you came in character. Is that what you call? It? Is that what you're aiming for? No, you going just, for the Alfred. I just like <laughs> I tried it out and I was like, oh, this is fun. I guess I'll do it for a week. <laughs> What's Alana think of it? She hates it. Oh. But she's not gonna be here till next week. Oh God, that's a close up. <laughs> Uh, well, she asked you guys like probably send pictures to each other and has and like and have only from like here to my dick. <laughs> <laughs> she refuses to see anything neck up from here. Yeah, because of this. Yeah, no. I always like to ask, have you uh, who's have you sent a dick pic? I sent nudes. You've sent nudes like full dick. Yeah. Have Do you, you have a full dick? Do you have a full? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. technically yes, but well, like by. Measurements, no. But I mean, <laughs> do you consider uh, what is it called when they take off the foreskin? That's called a Circ circumcision. So if I'm circumcised, <laughs> is that considered a full dick still? Or no, that guy is a partial, a partial dick. dick. Anybody circumcised has technically a partial dick. I only have a partial dick, Jeff. <laughs> I never realized I only have a partial dick. <laughs> <laughs> have I oh, broken exactly your whole paradigm of why have you thought about your dick for the past 18 years? <laughs> what explains us? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> have you sent dick pics? Uh, not in like. Long. But you have before. Yeah, like when I was a young child. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who are you saying the dick pics to? No, no, like when I was like in early college. And you were a child in early college. Yeah, yeah. Well, not like he currently. Young like a no, doogie no, 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 no. Have you ever sent full nudity? Uh huh. Yeah. Why did you want something? What, this week? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question Does she send them to me? No. <laughs> oh, I Aww. don't even play that yeah, card. I don't even appreciate them. I'm not playing a card. It's fucking true. Have you sent a dick pic? To who? Anybody? Yes. Really? I sent, How did they receive it? I sent a dick pic to Griffin once because she said you never send me dick pics. <laughs> and so I sent a dick pic to her and she said, I've never seen a dick pic like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if that's a compliment. Was, yeah, that's either. so ambiguous. She it said that like, is the most unique dick pic I've ever seen. What, yeah. how, what did he do? It was just like, you know, it wasn't like a picture of a dick, it was like going at the lens. It was like, oh, it was yeah. like so you so it was like a selfie, selfie of yeah, the dick. Like, <laughs> like, that's not how you take like the dick. It was like super aggressive. And it was just like my, <laughs> yeah, my head It was head. just like completely it dead on. So like the pee it hole is just staring at the oh, yeah. lens. Yeah. Spiking the lens. <laughs> <laughs> it spiked the lens, my dick spiked the lens. Did you, did you pop its mouth open? Like, <laughs> No, I should have. I should have. Well, you, I don't, I needed both hands to take the photo. Yeah. Yeah. Were you erect? Yeah. 
<laughs> You're not gonna sit in a flaccid. No, but I'm like thinking like no. it's just a wreck. His dick that, is just staring down the camera. I've been told by my wife that no one should send a flaccid. That should flaccid be a part of like, it's like sex ed, like one of the later stage sex ed classes you get like in high school, where they get a little bit more in depth. Should be about like yeah. Don't send a flaccid picture, there's no point. Who does that though? Who sends flaccid <laughs> A lot of dudes to my wife. <laughs> I think there actually should be like a little class on how to send dick pics and also how not to, when you should not to, and that kind of thing. Oh, like when you shouldn't? Yeah, like most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like there's very specific yeah. circumstances you should send a dick pic, and the rest of the time don't. Like a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're having, going through a hard time, so. <laughs> hard, my condolences. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, we've the team's uh, probably added up the letters at this point. What's the points at the end of all that? Tied. Hey, Ooh. it's That's actually pretty close. Nice. Um, oh, we lost five. These points. guys are taking it really seriously. Who? Oh, <laughs> the, audience. the audience takes every. They, they're they're here for they a had game. To fucking, I heard they had to pay to be here. <laughs> they do. There's actually a little That's bit of a fee. What's the rate right now? Five dollars. Jesus yeah, Christ. Do, do you guys want your money back yet? <laughs> we should. <laughs> no, you say no. You say no. You say I'm happy to be here. I'm gonna. So I. Um, I'm gonna say you guys can take one of anything you can see. <laughs> anyway. Just generally in the entire Rooster campus. And I have seniority in this building right now, so. Nobody can. So we have one Blaine. So that's that's an opportunity. Well, it can't have a pulse. It can't have a So you can have Chris. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, so we, we don't have an ad read for this game, so we'll just give Jeff the opportunity to subtly plug some shirts. Jeff, take it away. I don't know, man. Maybe, may, may or may not be more Jeff shirts coming out in the, near, in the future. At nothing has been announced. Roosty.com slash stores. Who wrote the copy for that yeah, ad read? <laughs> improv, man. It's improv. Oh, okay. This guy right here. <laughs> he hates his life. He loves his life. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, let's let's play another game. That sound good? Sure. Let's play Think About It. Think About It's a game where each team's going to answer a question. They're going to answer the question one word at a time, back and forth, hot potato style. Um, the twist is, whenever you hear the bell, the other team gets to interject with a word, and you guys have to use that word in your uh, answer. Uh, we're going to have... Team Millie start us off on this round. <laughs> is that weird? Is that joke? weird? It's a little bit weird. <laughs> You're like psychologically fucking with it. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of weird now that I think about it. You've named your team name after their only child. That, that you know of. <laughs> you got more spawn? We don't. <laughs> that you is, know. It, is this the it's platform, the that, is this the platform you wanted to how. use to come out with what, uh, kids? What season of what, of what this show is? What, is, this, what is? what season is this? We're on in the spot? season eight. Maybe in season 16 we'll announce. Make it happen, people. Let's get to 16 and find out about that. Uh, what's your question? Well, I don't know. How to invade a castle. And this is uh, submitted by Arch user Sassy Batman, which might be my new favorite username. A lot of Batman going yeah. on. That wasn't planned, but I, you know, anytime that I, I can say Sassy Batman, I'm going to say it now. It's a good theme. What are you holding? I don't know. I keep. I, it's a bullet. It looks like, 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 it looks like an a artillery bill. bullet. It uh, looks like a bottle opener. It is, yeah. A bottle opener. Bottle opener. Oh, it is. It's, or it's also vibrates. So it's like I fiddle when I'm nervous. It looks like a little portable one. <laughs> so I'm it's a bullet vibrator. I'm fiddling with it. That seems like that sun is just going to get lost if it's a vibrator. Well, yeah. You, <laughs> it's like you just, no handhold, so it just goes right up and it gets, disappears. Chris knows from his Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> laughing very nervously like you've done this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, what's it do? Uh, okay, so one word at a time. How to invade a castle. Um, Let's start off with Chris on this one. Uh, team, we did it once and something happened. Uh, listen for the bell for throwing a word in. Ready, set, go. What? What? Go, Chris. Uh, a. No, no, first. <laughs> no, he said A. a. Castle. I. <laughs> need. Invade. <laughs> the. Castle. With. Bullet. Why? <laughs> so not <laughs> storm with a. And then you, what, what happens? And now? then you say a word. Anal. There we go. <laughs> B dildo. So breach the castle rectum <laughs> with uh, bullets. <laughs> Loaded. Jesus Christ. <laughs> with. Anal. <laughs> Beads. <laughs> a plenty. <laughs> That's how you invade a. 
<laughs> what, what were you going to say, Jeff? I don't know. Anal. There you go. Anal. That's That's anal. That was rough. Yeah, but it wasn't rough because of anything Jeff did. Jeff wasn't actually making that worse. No, First, you guys fucking sucked. We had like a full sentence at the beginning of the show, like just immediately we in you rehearsal. You fucked the dog on that. What did you? That's a, the screw the pooch is the actual term, but fuck the dog, I'm sure it works well. He shit it's the more bed. To the point. That, that's the term. Yeah. You, you shit the dog. <laughs> you shit the dog <laughs> while fucking it. Um, well, I don't that, know about that. that. Okay, sorry, I went too far. Did I go too far? I like fucking my... animals is yeah, too far, John. Okay, I'm sorry. Slippery slope. My body is still like trying to recover because like, what comes <laughs> after fucking animals? What's the slope? Oh, I don't know. You, it's, that's usually like the thing they say that is going to come next. Yeah, bestiality is the thing that comes next. That's generally the climax. climax. Like that's an actual concern of that being normalized. Well, you know, like. That's no, it was a joke. Are we oh. gonna analyze it? No, no. They, they usually it's like bestiality. What, what's next? Bestiality. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the whole that's thing. Like, oh, oh, right. Yeah. If I can like, marry this guy, then I can marry my dog. That right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, so cool. I've never heard that there's something after bestiality. Robots maybe. though, right? No, robots would come before bestiality. Well, yeah, no, they, they so. haven't gotten sentient. Straight robots. <laughs> <laughs> and then gay robots, and then the animal robots. We start fucking the animal robots. Yeah. Um, I would rather fuck an animal robot than an actual animal. Just putting and that. That's in. now been said. <laughs> that's now on the internet. Yeah. Can't I mean, be undone. I, I, Jeff, if you just, need ideas for your new shirt line. But robots yeah. have no soul. What? Well, yeah. I, also, I'm just humans I don't, wanna... don't either, because that's not a real thing. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't want to have sex with an animal. I would prioritize the robot animal before the dog. Well, I guess I can see the logic there, because he doesn't like, hurt an animal. Exactly. Chris has a very tender heart. But what if you... <laughs> moving, on, moving on, moving on. That's the line, right? That's how we know you're a good person. Uh, <laughs> I'll fuck an animal, but it's got to come after the robot. <laughs> this is actually all making sense, which is what is worrying about this. Um, hey, before we, we, we have you guys do your thing, I wanted to say thank you to you guys with a little something. So I you're got you good guys house. a nice little bottle of champagne. Oh, thank and you. And that's just for you guys to enjoy. Oh. You, can, you can take that home or you can open it now. Jeff's you not drinking anything. Here you go, Griffin. You can drink it all. I'll put it in the safe. I'll right. watch you drink it, though, and I'll <laughs> fucking judge you not so quietly. That's not, there's no judging. Oh, there yeah, is. There is. There is so, I f it's fucking right. judge the hell out of I'm her. concerned. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm deeply concerned. Drink up, Alki. <laughs> I'm deeply concerned. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Ah, oh, Christ. Uh, Why is there an axe on the set? <laughs> That's a real, those are real Why weapons. are there multiple real weapons? <laughs> guys, We're here to watch. Guys, you're going to block the camera. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Oh, thanks. This, this is, is not. We're here to watch the show. <laughs> We're here to be We're to encourage show. you to be on top of your, Go ahead. your game. Yeah. It's my posse. Why does your posse all have blades? Because <laughs> this is all we got, John. Well, well, show going. How do they, that's how they roll. The show's actually nice going haircut. pretty well. Hey, thanks. Is he, Michael he, he's got like a 10 10 yeah. haircut. Is that all that Michael had time for the bit? No, Michael's got time. I just, I, you know, what the, bit? John, they'll ruin They're about to do a game if you want to watch. They'll ruin your show enough. I just want to get What were you least attached to on this set? Oh, come on. That table. That's the start shopping. Watch out, audience. Um, Chris, Chris. No, no, Chris. no, 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 no. You fucking swing it. Anything okay. from this point forward. Okay, so towards Blaine and Chris? Anything. No, no, yeah. it, you keep gesturing. Yes, that's I'm leaving on the desk. I'm not, no, I'm very attached to the desk. The desk is very important. Rolodex. Microphone stand. Oh, hey, oh, no, the microphone stands are there important, too. Marcus made these things. Yes, you can kill that. Oh, no, we already broke How that. How sharp are those actually? Decent oh, they're sharp as dicks, dude. Oh, this is sharp as shit. This one's not Do you think you could cut one of the shirts in half if somebody held it? Like uh, a on each side? I wouldn't have anyone hold it. I'm not holding it. Where you don't wait, hold where, it? Michael's. Michael, Michael has bailed off. off. I'm here. Oh, there Michael's, he is. Michael's, Michael's, Michael's got a trash can. Here, hold the trash can upside down. How much How much alcohol is inside of you guys right now? Lots. Wait, wait. What do you want? I want to hear the game. <laughs> this is gonna end. All right, so if that's that's about rough, right, right there. I'm not gonna, <laughs> are you gonna drop? You're just gonna drop it. I'm just gonna drop it. So watch your watch your toes. Idea. That's a bad idea. I don't know. Are we are we broadcasting? <laughs> I think we stop broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucked it up. Okay, you bye. Fucked it up good. You got the trash can. <laughs> Please don't leave the axe. 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 Here, take the axe. Okay, I'll do it. Thank I, What about that bench? Oh, wait, 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 we cut the bitches. You can have that. Uh, Whoa, we cut no, the bitches. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, Jack, fuck hang, it. Hang on, Jack. I got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Love you, boys. Continue the show. Yeah, we were never here. Sorry. Sorry. Bye, everyone. You're doing God's work. <laughs> He's stabbing this camera. <laughs> Wait, stop, stop hitting the camera with the scimitar. <laughs> the camera's more important than the scimitar. To who? <laughs> the company! Fight me, boy. He's got an axe. No, he's 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 doing doing it. It. Why are you bringing Diet Coke all goddamn day? I'm not day. scared of you. I know our relationship is stronger than a scimitar. Stop it. <laughs> how much? How hard? Oh, no, I'd go through Please that. Don't. Did Marcus make this or refurbish it? Marcus made it. So you can make it again? No. <laughs> What's in this Rolodex? Come on. All right, I won't do it. Come on. Oh, that's up. I've been through enough. What happened? I will let you write your name in the desk. How about that? Yeah. Okay, we done. They've gotten their content. <laughs> that was not content. They filmed that whole thing. What, what's going on? No, I'm telling you, that was not content. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, that's yours now. I don't feel so scared when Griffin holds it because I feel like someone. Who I knows. feel like that's just challenging. Wait till she I drinks like that you champagne. No, I'm saying. Oh, you know. dude, dude, drop, Damn fucking it. knock the top off the champagne with it. <gasps> you're supposed oh, to have a sword. Pop it with the. You're supposed you to can do that. The sword. Well, here's a sword. I'll take the axe. You do this. Sword. Be easier. You can. You just like tap it, and it fucking it goes right. It's uh, if you hit it at an angle. It's people, like, yeah. Yeah. people in it's France do that. Actually, the scimitar is more is actually more in line with what people use. You got to take that wrapper off, and then just the wrapper off. Okay. Yeah, you hit it like at the butt and the. I don't know exactly how it works. No, I think you hit it like at the top here. Yeah. Sure. You, do. you hit it at the yeah, top yeah. at an angle. You have to I've pressurize seen, it a little bit. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, All right, let's try. Gordon it. Ramsay. No, not Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> What's the guy from Michael uh, Schumacher? Why did no. I think of Gordon Ramsay immediately too? <laughs> no, guy from Harrison uh, Ford. God damn, stop saying other people's names. <laughs> Henry Ford. There you go, Henry Ford. I remember seeing Henry Ford do it. What do you got? You got a sheath? Right. I just want, just so you know, in case I want to cover it up. <laughs> Bye. All right, so how are we? Gonna you gotta twist you got off the, the, the metal. Take the wiry thing off. Yeah, but the whole thing's supposed to come off, right? Does it really? It will, matter? but no, that can't. That that holds it. That's not. There you go. That's a safety measure. Okay. So now it's. No. Now it's right. loaded it's and ready now to go. it's safe. So now you hit it with the axe. I think it's like it's up at an angle. You do it like that. And I feel you like hit somebody needs sword. to hold it. Oh no, I cut some new tights. Oh, did you cut your tights? I'm going to send a bill to the show okay, we'll, for the we'll, we'll new pair of tights. <laughs> Would you hold it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm going to try not to cut your hand off. Okay. Oh god. How hard are you going to? That's fine. The okay. audience is. Think oh, you know fast. what? I'm left handed, though. Point it to wanna... uh, this camera, that one. <laughs> Here. That this way, is if, if you chop me up, 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 chop my right hand. There you go, like that. There, are we good? Do you yeah. love me? Or? Good. Okay. Do we need to shake it at all? Is that part of it? Oh, yeah. No. I'm sure that would help. <laughs> shake it a tiny bit. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, just like that. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Remember, don't okay, hit that's right. don't Watch hit. out over there. For fuck's sake, don't hit my hand, though. Hold it tight, Jeff. Oh, <laughs> shit. God damn it. Hold it tight, right. Jeff. All right. You have to hold it tight. Yeah. Damn. Good grip. Good grip. Oh, wait. Let me show me a practice swing. See? What do you think is going to happen? She's going to take the, the sword from an upward place to a downward Just place. don't move. Don't panic. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, oh, You're not even. All right. I'm fine. What are you. <laughs> oh! I'm blinded. By champagne in the eyeball. <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. Do not drink oh. out of that. Fucking nailed it. Yeah. D hey, careful of glass. Did glass go get anybody? That's got a hole in it. I wouldn't put it in there. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, it's covered. I don't want to. It's going to rust and be sugary. Dude, your face is covered. I know. You look like you just had, no. you look like prom night. Okay. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that deserves a little something else. So uh, I hope one of, right. between the one of you, somebody likes chocolates. Oh, you just gave more shit to smash Yeah, so there's a yeah. to share between you for you guys that uh, Why amazing. all of the gifts? I'm really feeling a little suspicious about this. The gifts are because I really value the Ramses, okay? <laughs> Can't a guy just give his friends gifts? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm opening it. <laughs> Success? There you go. She's a share. Oh, uh, hey, could you take the wrapper off this, Jeff, for me? <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> he did. Technically, the wrapper is off now. All right, open up your mouth. Okay. Here, go. Here comes the choo choo. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's such an exciting thing for humans when we're able to. <laughs> there you go. Truffles for the audience. Um, okay. And Patrick. 
There we go. Um, those thank are, you, thank you, John, and or broadcast. There you go. Those are really good. Yeah. Walmart. Patrick Duck. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's good. Uh, okay, so now we've done all that. I guess we should play the game. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna play again. We're playing a game. It's what we do sometimes on the show. Think about it. One word at a time, back and forth answer. What is their question? Do we have monitors? All the monitors have gone just to the logo. <laughs> I think they Technical cut broadcast problems. in case somebody died. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to show any of that live to the internet. Oh uh, shit. Oh, I gotta read back what you guys said. A castle I need invade the castle uh -oh. with bullet. Why? Not storm a anal dildo, so breach the castle rectum with uh, bullets. Floated anal beads aplenty, that's you invade a anal. That's how they, yeah. yeah. So how many points, how guys? Many no, congratulations. That might be the worst answer ever for this game in all of On The Spot's history. And they didn't even contribute to the bad part of it. Yeah, well, it was really bad. Good job, Chris. So that's the bar. So you guys got it easy now. Uh, what's Jeff and Griffin's question? How to have kids. Oh, easy. Why are all theirs baby minded? Because um, we fuck. You did. Uh, how no, to have yeah. kids. All right. Uh, one word at a time, starting off with uh, Griffin. Are we ready? So don't speak, Jeff. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. First. Why do we start with F? <laughs> You can start with any words you want. Oh, oh, uh, Griffin. Spreads. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it to do personal. Oh, we don't have to go in order of an alphabet? No! Oh. Uh, in that case, uh, vaginally. <laughs> Spreads vaginally, got it. And? <clears throat> Jeff. <laughs> Whips. <laughs> Griffin, go for it. The penis <laughs> and balls. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Four, five, reproduction <laughs> and. <laughs> You broke Griffin. You broke Griffin. I'm sorry. I don't. Okay. You broke. You had a. You had a I rhythm. Fucking, I was all over that. You. You were. A bit you went further that. back in the process than I was expecting. How to have kids? What? I thought you. I didn't realize we were starting from scratch. I thought we were like in the delivery room. I think you said that the same time you guys first had sex. Oh. How to have <laughs> oh okay. I thought we were. You were. You were talking about. She was going. For I thought labor. it was like instructional. How to. How to. Have to give yes, Jeff, Jeff was giving us insight birth. into what happens in your bedroom. Right. <laughs> where Jeff Happened. whips his penis and balls himself. I can see where the yeah. breakdown was there. While okay. you are spread <laughs> vaginally. Yes. Right. Well, it all adds up. Actually, right. Jeff never said he whips his penis and balls, so there could have been another person involved that Jeff was whipping penis and balls. I don't want to put things into a box. Yeah. That's exactly where you put it. If you, if you know anyone who's <laughs> that into that. That's what you call a vagina, the box. That's Never, a name for it. It's absolutely a name yeah. for it. You it say counts. show me your box? I don't know if it's the name I'm Googling when I'm looking for porn. but <laughs> <laughs> It's what Avril Lavigne calls a vagina. It's Why really, it's a that? very unattractive word. Why wouldn't word? I know that? It's not Why doesn't everybody know that? Yeah, no one wants to be put in a box. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Hey, Chris, five points for that one. Right, I there you go. That one. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, oh, we've got thumbs up. Let's read out what that was. First, Griffin spreads vaginally, and Jeff whips the penis and balls. What for? Reproduction and pleasure. 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 <laughs> pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like how we capitalized all of Griffin's name in that for some reason. Um, she's just that kind of girl. Yeah. She's that kind of girl. Take me seriously. Yeah. Um, so I got to pick a winner, and I feel like. It's the audience. <laughs> uh, no, that's Don't the, cut to them. The rule is they never win. Uh, no, points to we did it once and something happened because they got close to answering the question. <laughs> close. Close. Whereas <laughs> I don't know what you guys said. Um, so before we find out what points are at the end of all that and see who's going to be doing a redemption challenge, uh, I got a little something to read. Uh, this episode of On the Spot is brought to you by Movement Watches. I honestly love their watches, love the watch that I own. I got my, my nice uh, the black one on right now. Um, and, and they're sleek slash, and honestly, the only watches I've ever owned that I get compliments uh, for for no reason. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Movement was started by two broke college kids. You guys have heard the story. They wanted to wear good watches, but couldn't afford them. So they started their own watch company. 
Um, they, uh, the watches start at just $95 at a department store. For the quality of these kind of watches, you're probably looking at four or $500. So this is a good steal. Uh, Movement figured out that by selling online and getting rid of all that overhead and all that kind of stuff, they could uh, get rid of the retail markup and provide you know, a lower price for you guys. They offer great watches with classic designs and quality construction. Uh, they get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mbmtwatches.com slash on the spot. That's mbmtwatches.com slash on the spot. Uh, join the movement, movement watches, highly recommend them, love them. Uh, so we got points after all that. Who, what are our points? Hey, we have a winner so far. Uh, Jeff and Griffin, yeah, Jeff and Griffin are winning 74 to 39 against uh, the generic white boys over here. Um, <laughs> so that means that we give you guys an opportunity to make up some points with a nice little redemption challenge. Um, you guys get to do this, and Jeff and Griffin get just sit back and watch. Um, we're going to play a game we've played before in here, which is the balloon popping challenge. The way this game works is that we're going to put time up on the clock, and you guys are tasked with popping as many balloons as possible. Uh, well, Thank God we have an axe. Okay, well, <laughs> here's the twist, is that you have to pop the balloons with your body parts between the two of you, and once you use a body part, you cannot use it again. I'm pitcher. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can use a body part, and then that body part is now no longer usable to pop the balloons. You may also not use any props or sharp objects. Gotcha. So it has to be between the two of us, right? Has to be between the two of you. All right, so dick to dick, ass to ass. <laughs> you guys reverse don't get to make ass a plan. To ass. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock, go ahead and enter the space. <laughs> Fucking Chris, put the axe down. Right. I'm not starting the game, so you put the axe down. <laughs> Hey, Patrick, would you come cold. take the axe away from Chris? <laughs> it goes, make sure it goes back to my office. We need that for work. <laughs> nope, nope, fine, you don't get fine. to cheat. It's you fine. don't get to it's cheat. Fine. Take the axe. It's fine. It's take fine. the axe. It's super it's sharp. Fine. He's going to trip over it and he's going to Yeah, I worry about my little fragile He's a man. fucking Thank idiot. Um, so now you actually have to play the game. Ha ha, joke's on you. Uh, let's put time within the clock. Ready, set, go. There's a sword over here. Good job, Chris. Chris, play the game. No, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Chris is being an asshole, and Jeff's here. Chest bump. <laughs> Good on the mic. Oh, oh no, that looks painful. <laughs> Do me. <laughs> All right, turn around. Oh, God. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> No more oh, dicks. Jesus. No more dicks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, well, That's all. You got them all. Congratulations. <laughs> that actually hurt my neck. <laughs> I got a ringing in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> because you thrust your neck at a guy at high velocity. <gasps> uh. I'm disappointed in you, Chris. I expect don't, you don't give a man a sword and tell him not to I pop I didn't balloons. give you a sword. The sword was over here. What you know what? And for not playing the game right, we have a nice little another gift for Jeff and Griffin. Can we bring out that nice little <laughs> gift to say sorry for someone ruining the games? We have a nice little bouquet. Aw. Thanks. That's nice. I feel like we've barely done anything for all these gifts. <laughs> you have been you, and that's all I need. Jesus, Griffin. Um, <laughs> so there, that's for you guys. You Happy, should put one in your hair. Happy Jeff. Mother's Day, Jeff. Thank you. Fuck. Yep, Fuck. Mother's Day's That's coming Sunday? up. That's Sunday? That's <laughs> Sunday. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Griffin. Mother's Day, Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, Obviously, you planned this together. I didn't plan it with Jeff at all. The only plan I had was that Jeff might show up. Um, I hope so my far, mom so good. wants an Amazon gift card again. Um, <laughs> is that what you gave your mom last year? Every year for birthday and Christmas and Mother's Day. Okay. Well, at least you get her something, so that's nice. All right, I get it to her uh, six minutes before I give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's our redemption challenge. We'll add up points for how many balloons that we popped that Chris did not pop with the sword because uh, well, he's a cheater, cheater, cheater. I only did one arm with it. Yeah, but you like popped like four balloons with that. that I'm not giving you points for those. Um, Way to go, Chris. We don't give points to cheaters on this show. We're going to play one more game. Let's play uh, Cunning Linguistics. <laughs> The way this game goes is that we're going to give each team words we found in Urban Dictionary. They're going to come with definitions. They get definitions right, they get points. If they don't get them right, then we give the other team one opportunity to come up with a rebuttal definition. If they don't get points, then I give points to the only one who is a mom on the show. Mm. And that's Jeff. <laughs> um, I, think, I think you're real pretty. 
Actually, this episode is going to come out on YouTube on Mother's Day, so it does make sense oh, that nice. I would give points to uh, the right. mama. Um, so Not let's, the mama. Uh, you, guys, <laughs> you guys started last game, so we'll have uh, the... They all died at the end of that show. They did. Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah, what the fucking meteor, meteor Dinosaurs. hit. Meteor hit yeah, Earth and they all died. Ended with an apocalypse. Yeah. Huh. Like really darkly. Yeah. It's like it was kind of dark though. It. Anyway, it had some. Dark it did elements. have some dark yeah. moments. I loved it though. The, and the Jim Henson's production company, the fan. He's had also dead. He's also dead. That's also sad. Did he die at the end of the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Jeff and Griffin are going to start us off on this game. What's their uh, word? <clears throat> Cracking and packing. <laughs> Packing. Cracking and packing. Uh, don't have an R2 user for this one, so we might have found this one on our own. Um, Jeff and Griffin, each of you gets an opportunity to come with definition. What do you guys think cracking and packing could be according to the internet? Uh, I think just making jokes while carrying um, concealed weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so Texas. Cracking and packing in Texas. Just being generally funny in Texas. Hmm. While holding a firearm. C yeah, concealed weapon. Do you have a concealed weapon right now? Uh, it depends on what you consider a weapon. Oh, that was bad. I had a sword. I've got a sword. You do. You actually, but it's not concealed. It's not really concealed. Um, concealed if you don't. That do actually it. is a legitimate attempt at a definition that makes sense for this thing. That we don't really get those on this show very often, but it makes total sense. Um, it's not the definition. I can actually say that. I know the definition. So, Jeff, you get a chance. What's cracking and packing? <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without sounding racist. <laughs> oh. That's a good, you know, prerequisite. Mm. And you don't embarrass the family. <laughs> That's done. Yeah, Team Millie, man. You watch out for us. <laughs> <laughs> Quite low. I, is it tell, telling jokes while holding a gun? Did you already say that? She, she did that. <laughs> so we, we've got that down, and we've got that out of the way. I don't want to say what I think it is. You want to whisper to me? I don't feel me? comfortable. No. Do you want to write down a piece of paper? I don't want to. No, because you'll just say it out loud, and then it'll know it came from me. Um, <laughs> I think it's probably uh, popping your knuckles while having anal sex. Cracking, and then the packing is the anus. Packing, sex. Yes, mm -hmm. that's not what I really think it is. I don't. We all know that at this point. <laughs> I just don't want to um, say it again. Together. That actually makes total sense, but isn't the definition? Um, you're kind of close, though. I actually will say that. What do you guys got? Two do you want to go? On? Yeah, it's where you you do, you do have a concealed gun, but it's in your crack. So it's you actually oh, you yeah. have a you're packing in your in crack. crack. Got it. Yeah. All gonna, right, so walk me through the scenario <laughs> well, of why you need to pack a gun in your anal cap. Uh, <laughs> just another Friday night. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Because uh, you're, wearing, had one you're too. wearing skinny jeans and it'll be obvious otherwise. Exactly. Or so like, <laughs> if you're like, you're going in and they frisk you and they're like, he's, he's, clean. he's clean, he's clean. And then you pull a gun out of your ass. <laughs> no Joke's on you. <laughs> While they're pat while they're patting you down, you pull the gun out of your yeah, ass. You and wait for them. No, no. Later, later. As a reveal. Yeah. In the original draft, you've you never seen a good for. Quentin Tarantino movie. In the original yeah, Die Hard. I've never seen a gun inside of an ass in a Tarantino film. Yeah. The original Die Hard, he, Bruce Willis didn't have it strapped to his back. He had the gun <laughs> up his asshole. It, okay, now that scenario makes more sense than Chris surprising exactly. policeman with a gun out of his ass. Or no, it didn't have to be police. And surprising anyone, really. Yeah. yeah. It, no one's Anybody that's just it. generally patting down Chris for any reason. Um, no, not the definition. What's the definition? It's a teen drug trend whereby teens hollow out a cucumber, fill it with crack, and put it in their anus to absorb it faster. Wait, why a cucumber? Pretty sure that's not that doesn't work. So don't try that. But you well, know, it's 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 it's. it's you got to be really careful when taking things anally. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really give. Would that right. my notes? Really. Would that work? <laughs> Blaine? I would, but Why what, would you, the cucumber I don't think would help with the actual absorption of the cocaine. Maybe it's help cut it. <laughs> is it a full cucumber or is it like a baby cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> I think you work your way up, you know? Start with a baby carrot. <laughs> yeah, and haul that out and put crack in it. Um, uh, because Jeff was able to get there to the anal first, which is a sentence that's now been said, uh, I will give points to the Ramseys on that one. So that's an applaud moment. <laughs> um, okay, so that was their word. Let's find out what Team Millie's word is. <sighs> Once again, I said the name and it's bummed out. Uh, Pooh Bear Shirt. Mm. Pooh Bear Shirt mm. by Mundinger, 1992. Um, a Pooh Bear Shirt, often called a schmedium, also known as a schmedium, <laughs> is a shirt that doesn't quite fit you, kind of like Pooh Bears. So like when you wear it, like your stomach might hang out a little bit. Or weird. your ma name might be Blaine Gibson at all times. I'm wearing mediums now. I've upgraded. Have you gone from mediums? Mm -hmm. Emily would be so happy. Yeah, well, she's fired now, so. She's, she's not fired. She, she, she was allowed to quit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. um, 
Okay, so it is a shirt that is too big for your... Too small. Too small. It's too small for So your, your tummy sticks out. Yeah. So Because yeah. your husky body is, is too big for it. Right. Um, it's a possibility. Chris, what do you got? Uh, Pooh Bear shirt obviously is... Obviously. Well, uh, you know how there's like, there's a, a gay bear is like a... <laughs> Careful. Or just a bear in the gay or, community. Or a bear Careful. in the gay community, and you know, occasionally when they, you know, like get a lot of shit on their shirt. Or From something. what, Chris? Okay, so the bear uh, from the gay community has shit on his shirt. Continue. Or you know, it just got poo on their shirt, or <laughs> or, 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 like, or like getting pooed on. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, land this, land this thing, uh, and. That's the definition. Well, how do they get shit on their shirt, Chris? Any number of ways. <laughs> so it's when someone from the gay community, who is categorized Called as a bear, bear, gets poo-poo on their shirt. Exactly. So you have gone somewhat literal route of the definition of a poo bear shirt. I think I'm offended. I, Are you, you know, offended? I don't know why. I, I, okay. you know, I might be too, but... I, I Minus five know. points for offending Jeff. Well, I should have started saying that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you could have manipulated this whole show, Jeff. You just didn't know it. Um, Thank you for just ending. <laughs> Jeff, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Chris is could not be further off. Um, so, what do you guys think a Pooh Bear shirt could be? I think Blaine actually probably nailed it. Yeah, sort of like a like a a crop top, but an unintentional crop top. Mm. Unintentional crop top. Okay. Or like I would, I could see where Chris was going with it, but he went way way, way wrong. Like Griffin, she eats like an animal. And she has a shelf of boobs, and she constantly has food on her shirt. And so, <laughs> like, you, you know, Pooh Bear loves honey. Yeah. And he's messy with it because he eats oh, so much. So, like, it's just a shirt with, like, sense. stains and because you, you're dropping the honey, or in Griffin's case, any food whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know why this became anything about me at all. Like, I just, I think, about, I think about your tits a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if it makes you feel better, Griffin, uh, I, I... John also thinks it makes you feel better. I think if I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes you feel better. I just, I'm here to support. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Yeah? Good. Um, let's find out what the real definition is to cut the awkwardness. Um, a large person wearing a shirt that's way too small and doesn't even cover the entire belly. And I Blaine... I got it. There yeah, go. Blaine got it and answered the question right and blah, 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 blah. So he, he didn't actually have to put you through that excruciating, embarrassing thing. You have to. No, I just like to hear to what Chris is going to say. <laughs> like part, the whole fun can, part can, of having uh, Chris. Griffin, can you hand me that sword, please? No, <laughs> I'm just going to fall onto it. <laughs> <laughs> you could. It's an option. Um, or live too. How many points? <laughs> <laughs> how many points for suicide? <laughs> None. Okay. All right, never mind. I I'll give Chris. you some of our points. <laughs> Jeff is now offering points for kids. 35, 35 Ramsey points. <laughs> it's, I hate to interrupt the show, but I have to pee so bad. Is there any way that I could just... You can totally go and take a leave break. Your, leave just your mic Just have one on. more word, and, and Jeff can totally carry for the rest of the game. Excellent. No problems. All right. Um, we're going to start talking about Griffin's anatomy now. No, we're not. <laughs> I put a, a, a veto on that. What's our final word that each team's going to come with definition for? Sheen. So... Here's your final word. Each team comes with one definition to try to get some final points. What could be a sheen? Um, we'll go to Team Millie first on this one. Uh, I guess it's like after you've um, contracted AIDS from uh, uh, Charlie Sheen. Why did you sheen. let Chris talk? Why did you let Chris after talk? After you contracted AIDS from Charlie Sheen, you got sheened. Was that his like phrase that he hey! said? You got sheened? You now have AIDS from Charlie Sheen? Charlie That's all I got. That's all. He hasn't been relevant in like... Four years. Man. You well, never sorry, you, you got I, something? Well, you came up and you're like, I, I got this. I said, go for it. No, I said, and that I was said, where you went wrong. Like, no, when Blaine, you I said, him, okay? Charlie Sheen and something with AIDS is what I said. And you and said, you nodded to that. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, so Jeff, what's a Sheen? I'm afraid that it's, uh, is there a real definition to this word? There is a real definition for this word. Is this like an urban dictionary type this thing? This is urban dictionary. Sheen. Urban dictionary. I think it's like, it's like when you pull out of a, of a, of a, a really excited woman mm. and there's like a nice glistening sheen on your penis. Yeah. Uh, huh. You got a glossy dick. Yeah, you got a nice glossy, it's like you, uh, it's like somebody buffed it for a little bit. Yeah. That's essentially what having sex is. Yeah. Just buffing it's your dick. dick. buffing. <laughs> That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. It's just giving your dick a nice it's like it's kind of It's like it catches the light right and it's like, ting! Yeah. Yeah. That and you go, look at you, little guy, you did it. Well, hopefully you don't say little guy. 
<laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I'd say little guy as well. Yeah, um, what okay, what's the real definition? A flock of prostitutes, <laughs> prostitutes, much like a gaggle of geese or a murder of crows, named in honor of Charlie Sheen and his exploits. I, well, you're closer. I had so to... it's it's kind of like yeah, it's a herd of, of ladies of the night, and it they were also... called his. They were his angels. <laughs> did he seriously call them that? <laughs> oh yeah. no, you're yeah, thinking did. of uh, the that ex kids child star, right? What was his name? Who? No, oh, Charlie, Charlie Sheen, he had his women, he called them his angels. Okay, okay, his sorry. Angels, so they lived with him. It was that guy. It was, yeah, uh, it was Brie Olsen and then a couple of other porn stars, and they were his angels, and they lived in his house with him. But were they and prostitutes? He, <laughs> I mean, uh, Let's I, 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 who am I to judge? Did they get paid? I don't know what Co the transaction was. Corey Feldman, he was the other one that had like a nickname for Corey. He was married that to was the a name of his he harem? Was married to attract for, I saw him, I ran into him one time, literally ran into him one time in LA. Yeah? Like he f ran into me. Oh. I supported his Kickstarter. Down. Corey Feldman's? Mm -hmm. What was his Kickstarter? Something for his shithole band. <laughs> I'm sure he, he, really well. he didn't make the goal. Oh, uh, his rough. goal was like 120,000 and he made like 2,000. Oh, it man. Like 15. It was like 15. 15,000? Give the guy some credit. Okay. Uh, Why? Give the guy some credit for not meeting his goal. He was uh, in the burbs. That should be enough for anybody. That's true. He was in, he was in, uh, he was in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Or, I'm sorry, Friday 13th 3. It's a fantastic movie. Friday 13th 3. Yeah, he was good in that. Um, so Chris gets points for that round. Thanks. <laughs> did you fall on the sword? No. He did not fall on his sword. Nah, did you just ask if Chris is still alive <laughs> while he's across from you right now? You, he didn't have to necessarily die from that. Oh yeah, there's other parts of the body you could fall on. Chris, it's still an option. It's on the table. Cut your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, 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 I would Chris. Chris, Chris. <laughs> let's not chant that. Um, let's find out what points are at the end of all that. Oh, oh, 84 oh. to 94. You guys make up 50 fucking points. I have no idea. I didn't actually give him 30 of our points. No, you didn't. You did it for your kid, though, right? Are you upset, <laughs> Jeff? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't give a shit. Oh, yeah, if, no, see, if they win, then we did, we oh, yeah. come to self act as parents. Good genetics. Yeah, 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 yeah. You let your daughter win. And because you guys have been so good, such good parents for this entire episode, I have a gift for you as well. Here's a, here's a gift card to the Cheesecake Factory. Ooh. So oh, that's for you guys. That's nice. You like cheesecake? They have more than that at Cheesecake Factory. There you go, Griffin. Uh, I don't like Cheesecake. Yeah, but well, they have like every food under the sun at that goddamn Thank restaurant. You. So there Happy you go. Mother's Day. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's been our show. Oh, that was our show. That was good. Went bad. No, that was good. Um, I want to say thank you to my sponsor, Movement Watches. And I want to say thank you to my guest, Chris Blain. And very it's special thanks. It says we pick the amount. It's either twenty-five or five hundred dollars. <laughs> I want to pick five hundred dollars. <laughs> um, thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Griffin. Very much appreciated. And thank you to my guests and my audience. See you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>